Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. Today we're playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for the PlayStation 1. In the last video we had did the first three levels and we have Elisa Steamer when we were playing last time and we had unlocked some actual skateboards as we were playing and we have the loose trucks and we are going to Chicago. This is our first, I think this is in a uh, contest level. I'm not really too big on the Chicago area. I know on Tony Hawk's uh, American Wasteland, they remade that level, and it's still not the greatest. There's not really that many things you can do on it, but at least a streamer, it seems pretty good at it. And I kind of like how they actually put like the TV like music videos that in the background. I know there's also some ambience right now, like people applauding and stuff, so it's kind of weird. So, I want to ask how you guys are doing. You know, I haven't really had a one-to-one -one talk with you guys. Hope you guys are doing alright. I'm doing pretty well myself. I've been doing just my life, you know. Just skating, all that good stuff. Just working, skating, and just chilling. Funny enough, I actually, like, went skating today. And it was really nice, because I had bought a new board, like, a couple weeks ago. And it was, like, 80 bucks. Really good board, really, really smooth. Like, it has independent trucks and all this other good stuff, and it's really, really good. I'll be honest. It's one of the best purchases that I bought. But I'll tell you, this bailing on this level kind of sucked. But I still don't understand how I got a 9 uh, 91.9 on that contest level. I will never understand that to this day, how I just got that. I'm kind of curious on the other Tony Hawk games of why did they not like include any other levels? They could have put Burnside, I know they put that on like, I think, it wasn't Tony Hawk's uh, Underground 2 because I know that's the Philadelphia area, but uh, they put freaking Chicago in American Wasteland. I really don't understand it. It's just not a really good classic level. I mean, some people may say it is, but it really isn't. It's just half pipes and just a bowl and there's nothing really else you can do unless you're gonna do like free well not like freestyle like realistic skating there's no really point to it eh, I guess it's like the bowl was kind of cool I mean learning how to spine transfer from that it's pretty alright but that gap that gap where you have to do the uh, I think it's the Ollie North it's ridiculous it sucks but I'm just glad that I actually just completed this one with the gold, the gold medal, boys. Oh god, that was terrible, terrible, terrible. Next level we have is Downtown Minneapolis. I'll tell you, this one actually is a pretty big level for what it is. They have it on American Wasteland, and I actually like how it looks. It's really polished, and I know this one is kind of all right I mean there's a lot of advertisements I think it's for like Mountain Dew Yahoo and like Tech Deck funny enough back in the day when I used to get uh, shoes when I was like in like kindergarten or something they would give you a free Tech Deck dude every time you bought the shoes and I remember they're like 20 bucks for a shoe and now like they're like 50 or more but I bought these uh, Tech Decks the one time they were like I think 20 bucks and it came with a guy, and it came with the skateboard. That was so cool. I actually was like, I kept that for a while. I put them in like an RC car I had, and it was really cool. But then after a while, people just like, you know, they didn't really do that anymore. I think the last thing I actually got with that sort of thing, I think it was like a DS when it came with a shirt. It was like not an actual DS, but it was like a DS lookalike, and it was really cool. I'll be honest, I am not really a big fan of the DS lookalike because some shit with that kind of happened, so I'm kind of glad whoever took it, I won't say who, but who took it, good for you. Good for you that you took my fake one instead of my real DS. But suddenly they actually took my DS, so I was kind of upset about that. Uh, I'm sorry I'm keep rambling. I just, I'm thinking of like nostalgic stuff from this game and just like, I don't know. I guess that 
tech deck kind of reminded me of it. I don't know, I feel like this level was really good on American Wasteland just because the parkour you could do. And I kind of feel like they could have put more stuff that you could do, like you could do the tricks and stuff. Like you could have done the sex change trick over the fountain like on the other game, but they didn't really want to do that, so I guess I can understand it. They wanted to be easy on us, you know. You know it's actually funny, they actually put a demo on this game. They put Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, the first game on there, so that was pretty cool. Two more tapes and you'll be making it to Burnside. Alrighty then. So I heard school is actually starting up pretty soon. I know for my state. I know it's returning like within the week. I think they're starting the the 11th of August, which is kind of cool. But I hope you guys, you know, have a good I hope you guys had a good summer cuz you know, summer was pretty good back in the day. I remember I would always like go to the beach or just hang out with friends or just have sleepovers and stuff back when I was younger. Um, summer was pretty good, I mean, especially when it was like summer vacation for my 11th grade year or in senior year, that was good stuff, and then I guess my senior year kind of was depressing at the time too, because one of my friends had moved away, I moved from here to Boston, so I was not able to see them really often, or I didn't like hear them, because they were gone for like two weeks. And then they said they're gonna move back up there. I I was freaking an emotional wreck, so I kind of was upset about that. But instead, I guess it was better for him because he uh, he learned that maybe uh, it wasn't better to go there again. So he lived and learned, and then he's back in uh he's back where we are. I won't say like it, it's pretty obvious where I live, but it is what it is. But I'm glad he's back. You know, I see him every once in a while. I know because he, he does like trucking and I, I do my, my work and uh, I, I really want to get him in a video one time like just us playing something together. He, he was in it a few times like he, uh, he was in a Grand Theft Auto video with us that was some really fun shit and he actually was in a uh, Watch Dogs 2 video but I mean summer vacation was pretty good even, even so when he uh even when it was my uh, 11th grade summer, now that was pretty good. We hung out all the time and all this other shit. It was really fun. I remember every Friday, we'd go to the corner store, get some monsters, and just chill. I know I tried to teach him how to skate, but he uh, he fell. I felt bad, and I, I even let him use my shoes, because he had running shoes. And I wear uh, like Vans and stuff. So I let him try my shoes on, and they, uh, they didn't work for him, and he's like, I don't like these. They're not comfortable. You know what's kind of funny? I remember when I first played this game. It's between two things. I remember they used to have this game playing at like local McDonald's for like Nintendo 64. That's when I first played it, but then I also remember like a long, long time ago, back when my dad was alive, we uh we went to his friend's house and I was playing it on their PS1 so I was playing that game and it was really cool because I was like damn this is an old style fucking game and it was really cool because I actually like beforehand wasn't really into like the Tony Hawk series I was just like I liked the skateboarding stuff but I never actually like did skateboarding so I guess that was kind of cool and then, yeah I guess that's how I kind of got hooked on it then I remember it's like when I was younger, I got, like, underground for the first game I got. I remember, like, it was like, my mom said, let's go get some games. She got me a PlayStation 2 and two games. I got SSX 3, and I got Tony Hawk's Underground. I remember when I played Underground, that shit was amazing. Like, I brought over my PlayStation 2 to my grandma's house, and I was playing with my uncles, uh... And we were just having a good time, like, I remember he created his character, and then he got to this one part on the game, and he could not do it. It was the part in Moscow where he had to do, uh, the spine transfer over the wall. He was never able to do it, and I was able to. He got so pissed.
I also remember during the summertime, I had to do summer school, which really sucked because, I don't know, I guess you can say I wasn't the best in school, but I did my best. But I guess I, you could say I just was not too smart. I, it's not like I skipped any classes. I mean, I skipped a few classes in my senior year, but it was mainly my photography class because I always had to go outside. But really, I didn't really miss any, like tests or anything. I guess my 11th grade year I was really sick a lot. I guess it's because of my health. Like back in the day I was pretty unhealthy. But I remember like <laughs> I remember the one time I was uh in summer school. I had to take my tests and stuff. I remember it was like my uh my senior year. Yeah, my senior not my senior year. My uh freshman year, I had to do uh tests with a uh, math class. So I was hanging out with one of my friends, and his name was like Nick or something. Yeah, I think it was Nick, and then we went to uh, to the local CVS by my house. We got some Monster and some coffee. I I wanted to die. Like, it was bad. It was so hot outside. It was like 93 degrees outside. And I, uh, I had to walk from my house into his house. And it was like an hour and a half away. It was terrible, terrible. But then also I remember another time during my uh, summer school, I had to, uh, I, I took one of my friend's uh, Mountain Dews, I drank it all on him. I remember my uh, my 11th grade year uh, of high school, I bought him a 2 liter thing of Mountain Dew and I uh, I gave it to him in cla like during class. He was like, what are you doing in here? And I'm like, yeah, well I owed you a Mountain Dew so I said, here you go. And he was like, he was looked so like looked at me he was like what the fuck why did you do this I'm like I, I remember you gave me a Mountain Dew so I'm not gonna like forget about you but uh, I don't really talk to most of the people that I went to high school with I really only talk to like a few people that's about it and then that's pretty much it the rest is history I really hate this level guys I really hate downhill Downhill is one of the worst fucking levels in the history of Tony Hawk games, I'll be honest. I really hate this level. I hate it in Underground, I hate it in Pro Skater HD, I hate it in Pro Skater, I hated it in Pro Skater uh, 2X. I just, this level just needs to not exist. It's bad. It is bad. I just don't like it. I don't know why, I just don't like it. It's just a horrible, horrible level. Downhill stuff was meant just for downhill jam. That's it. I don't really have anything bad to say about the downhill game. I will never play it though. I played it for the DS when I was in fifth grade, but that's it. And then I just stopped. I just I was like, I borrowed it from my friend and I gave it right back. But downhill, it's just a terrible level. I can't reach the fucking the thing so I can let the water valve go out. I couldn't get the skate letters. And it took so fucking long just for this level. I don't know why. It just was a really long and hard level. And I'm not trying to sound perverted right there. I'm, I'm sorry it sounded perverted right there. But it was just a difficult level. Plus, there is a lot of advertisements for Mountain Dew. And it makes me kind of want to get a Mountain Dew even though I had one today. But anyway, just this level, it was just like, why do they have to remake it? It's so many times. All it does is just a downhill slalom. There's nothing spectacular anyway. I mean, sure, that it's a luge level. I mean, you can race your friends. But other than that, there's nothing really spectacular about it. And see, it's like you fall any time. Like, there's that water hazard. You're going to fall in the water. And if you ride on the walls or the uh, the freaking mountain, it's just it's terrible. I think there was a mountain, uh, like not a mountain. There was a, a monster thing, I think, on Pro Skater HD. I'm not sure, but I remember you also had a manual through the uh, through the water on Tony Hawk's uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD. I was like, why do you have to do that anyway? But yeah, no no tapes there. No tapes at all, because we're fucking terrible at this. 
I'm not entirely sure what my favorite Tony Hawk level is in any game, honestly. I feel like in Underground, most people would probably say Manhattan is their favorite level. I mean, it's an underrated level, it's not that bad. But I feel like my favorite level on Underground was either Hawaii or probably um, Tampa. I'm not sure why I say Tampa, it's just because I think it's cool. Like, I think it's cool because I know a lot of glitches in there. And it's really cool because I can actually drive in the water on there and like walk in the water. It's really cool. And there's like some secret areas in this game. It's really cool. And then like, I feel like in Underground 2, most people's favorite level is Australia. But I feel like mine is probably, probably uh, training just because I can go to New Jersey on there. So that was really cool. American Wasteland, mine's probably Santa Monica. Uh, Pro Skater 2. Um, I'm not sure. That one is kind of a tough one. It might be Venice, because I actually kind of do like the Venice uh, scene. It's like a little beach, you know. Pro Skater 3. A lot of people like Suburbia. I personally like uh, Rio. Rio is actually really good. And then, um, Open World on freaking Pro Skater I'm Project 8. But if it was in the PS2 or Xbox version... I probably have to say my favorite level on there would be uh, probably the Crete Park or uh, downtown, just because of the robust feel. And then Proving Ground, I really like the Air and Space Museum, that was really cool. And um, Pro Skater HD, there's no really level I like. I mean, training's the best one, I guess. They have DLCs for it too, like they have like three other levels like Airport, Canada, and um, Marseille. No, not Marseille. Canada, Air I mean, the Airport, and uh, there's someone. There's another level I cannot remember it for me. Oh, Los Angeles. That's the other level. Los Angeles is okay. Not my biggest one. I know, very off-topic thing, but I actually did get some more DLCs. It's not for, like, the Rock Band games or anything. I actually got some DLCs for Skate 2. So, I got the old, like, I think it's the Maloof Money Cup DLC, and I got this other DLC where I can actually go into, like, the elementary school from Skate 1. So, I thought that was really cool. And I'm kind of curious, if you guys want me to do that one, please let me know. I do want to do it, but I feel like nobody will watch it because Skate 2 is kind of old and nobody really gives a fuck about it, to be honest, so I'm like, kind of curious. I do feel like the skate letters on this level is kind of more difficult. I feel like it's more intermediate for some people because I do have to say like you have to go all the way up in the air to get the skate, the S, and then for the other ones it's like it's kind of easy to get the other ones like the K A T E. Well, the E is kind of difficult cuz there's no way in hell you can actually just like physically just jump up from it. It's actually pretty hard. I know I had a difficult time, and that was weird. I saw those barrels moving, and like, I keep hearing them falling in the water. It's like, why is it doing that? And then I fell in the water. What the hell? But I don't know. I also feel like this one and Sean White skateboarding, they're kind of comparable. Like, they're not that good. Like, this is the OG, I know, but Sean White skateboarding. I was not a fan. I'm still not a fan because I still have to do, like, the levels and stuff on there. I don't know. I feel like this one has... It's, I don't know. It's weird. I think this one has a lot of better, like, things to it. But Sean White has some other, like, shit to it as well. Like, you could do, like, kind of cool things. Like, like front side uh, 540s and freaking tray flips. And kind of more vert stuff. And this one has, like... A realistic feel, but the other one's kind of cartoony. I do how like the water actually on this game is a lot better than actually the ones on the newer games. Like 
the water actually shows like droplets of the water moving. The other ones didn't really do that at all. I think the skate one and the secret tapes the hardest the secret tape was the bitch like it was the most difficult to get out of all these missions I guess it was because that and the freaking pro challenge like the pro high score I think I don't know what you want to call it but those ones were kind of difficult like I don't know why they were just harder and then I kept fucking up I don't know why I guess Elisa Steamer is not one of the best skaters on this I don't know, I have mixed feelings towards it. Holy fuck, finally. That took forever. I finally got the hidden tape. That shit was ridiculous. I do not know why it was so difficult to get that fucking challenge. I don't know. That tape, I don't know what's in it. I guess some secret hidden thing. You'll never know what it is. But I'm glad I got it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe. Dislike if you don't like the downhill level or that secret tape mission. I'm the shit. You've been watching Millionaire Gaming. Please tune in for the next video, which is probably the final one, and there is the secret tape we have got. One more time, and we got our secret invitation to the secret competition. Well, there we go. I'm the shit. You've been watching Millionaire Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.